domestic tourism. That became a key focus of Kenya's tourism sector when the COVID-19 pandemic disrupted travel. A lot of people who otherwise holiday internationally uh, were unable to, to leave the country uh, because of COVID restrictions uh, to the popular destinations like London, Dubai, South Africa, the US and so forth. And even uh, some of the uh, neighboring countries where Kenyans like to holiday, uh, like Tanzania, Uganda, Zanzibar, you know, were also pretty much affected. So we saw a lot of Kenyans who holiday internationally coming now looking for alternative holiday destinations uh, in Kenya. The Kenyan market has proved to be resilient. In fact, uh, Kenya is, uh, according to ATA statistics, it's uh, the third country in Africa uh, with the strongest uh, domestic market. Uh, that's only after South Africa, Nigeria, then comes Kenya. But where exactly are Kenyans flying to? Typically, uh, if you look at it from a safari point of view, then uh, it's Masai Mara. You know, it's really going to the parks. But if you look at it from uh, the coastal point of view, uh, then it's uh, our Diani service. We launched Kisumu about two years ago, and it's really, really picked. And in fact, to the extent now, we have three daily services. We have a service at 7 o'clock out of Nairobi, 11 uh, o'clock out of Nairobi, and uh, 5.45 p.m. Uh, out of Nairobi. <laughs> The tourism sector is also registering an increase in international arrivals given that this is peak season. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, it's not like what it was in 2019. The second biggest market, source market for tourism uh, is the UK for Kenya. And we're on the, on the red list. So what we're seeing today is actually American tourists. Uh, so about right now it's about 70-80% of the international tourists that we're seeing are Americans. Uh, and then uh, followed, of course, by the other European countries, some Spaniards, Germans, uh, Italians, French. Safari Link, being Kenya's premier safari airline with a network of connecting domestic scheduled services to all the best safari destinations within Kenya and across the border into northern Tanzania, is reaping the benefits of the peak season. On a typical day, we have at least 20 flights. Uh, departing from here and we'll have up to about a thousand uh, passengers uh, flying through uh, this very lounge. With the new normal, travelers are keen on health protocols during their entire journey. So as you walk into Safari Link, you'll notice that uh, we have um, a hand wash unit and then we have um, foot marks that uh, guide on uh, physical uh, social distance. When we are airborne, uh, we've advised our passengers to make sure that uh, they have masks uh, on. That safety is even more assured if the checking in and boarding is hassle-free. Safari Link boasts of a lounge of its own kind that makes boarding seamless. So typically, uh, once, once you get in, you're in the lounge. We have, uh, and, and in fact, I, I'll say this, world-class coffee in our lounge because uh, I have a lot of Italian and, uh, and other European tourists who really, really love that coffee and, and, and they actually say the best coffee they've had in Kenya is at Spring Valley uh, Coffee Shop. But from here, it's just boarding and the aircraft is about 20 meters away, so it's very seamless. It's very, very convenient and uh, it's easy. It's only one, uh, you only check in once your luggage, and yourself, and that's all. And amid hope in the air, Safari Link has entered into a code sharing partnership with Kenya Airways that is expected to boost the link between international and domestic travel for holiday makers. What this partnership with Kenya Airways allows is a, a tourist um, or an international traveler um, can book a ticket, let's say from New York straight to Masai Mara. So with one ticket. And it's a win-win, uh, you know, because Kenya does not fly into the parks. Sometimes, you know, there might be only be three, four people uh, in the aircraft. For Kenya, it would not be viable. But for us, with four or five people, uh, we have aircraft that uh, are suitable for that sort of number of passengers. Safari Link flies to 17 destinations in the region. Amboseli, we fly uh, two to three times a day. And, and sometimes, depending on demand, obviously, then we'll have like even six, seven uh, flights uh, to Amboseli. And the same also applies to the Mara. 
uh, and uh, as you know, we also fly to Laikipia, which is Nanyuki and Samburu. You see different things every day. Um, maybe today I'll be flying to the north, so you see Mount Kenya and the Everdez. It's always nice to see that, especially when we're flying over Mount Kenya. So we fly over Nanyuki, which is where I'm from. So I fly over home. My favorite is uh, transitioning from Samburu to Mara. It's a very scenic flight next to the Abadeas, the Nyandarua place, the waterfalls, Nakuru, the lakes. Uh, that's, that's the best flight when you're doing Samburu to Mara. Uh, but uh, Mboseli is also up there because of the mountain. Any lodges you stay there, you'll be seeing Mount Kilimanjaro. Talk of Amboseli and we at Chams Media have a share of that experience, or call it magic, which we will be sharing soon. You will love it.